I'm Noreen and welcome to my kitchen. As you can see, we did a pretty big haul today. So I've got a combo Aldi and Sam's Club haul for this month. We're gonna consider this a June haul because we did one at the beginning of May. So this is our June haul. So let's go see all the great stuff we brought home. start off with what we brought home from Aldi and really I seriously I, I went to Aldi for two things right tuna and canned mushrooms that's all I went to Aldi for oh and uh, squeezy applesauce because the girls were out so well, she took the rest of the family so <laughs> you know what happens when you take the rest of the family this is what happens when you take the rest of the family okay so we got the girls their squeezy applesauce they picked apple strawberry and apple banana I got two boxes of each so these are $1.89 a box and there's four in a box I decided Heather said she likes the um, the Aldi brand cake mix so I'm gonna give the angel food cake mix a try there are uh, two of them here they were 99 cents each and I got another box of butter crackers a lot of this stuff is just pantry stock but um, some of it we eat on a regular basis so like the apple sauces and the crackers and Heather also picked these up in her haul so Heather you know Noreen see uh, Noreen do Heather Heather monkey see monkey do yeah so Heather picked these up said she thought they would go good with tuna I think so too so I picked Picked up a box to try. Molly um, picked these up. This is uh, 100 calorie spicy homestyle guacamole minis, and they're just little, they're like little tubs of prepared guac. And um, she's gonna give those a try. Yeah, $2.99 for that. These crackers are always like a dollar 49 or a dollar 69 a package the pita crackers were a dollar 99 the clubhouse crackers a dollar 59 the angel food cake 99 cents rick picked up a different kind they have several different kinds of um beer this is a German beer because the german store this well this is belgian but oh. it's a lager from belgium and that was 6.49 the tuna i got 12 cans and those are a dollar nine cents and this is the the solid albacore tuna, best tuna I've come across, even better than the brand name stuff you get at the grocery store. This is superior tuna, and hopefully I won't ever have to compromise, and I'll always have this in my pantry. I personally, and you may find this shocking, I like to have between 30 and 40 cans of tuna in my pantry, because at any given moment, we go through spurts where we eat a lot, and then sometimes we don't eat it for a while, but as long as we rotate it, we'll always have it on hand. Should, God forbid, something happen, tuna is a great go-to. It has a long shelf life, and it's a good source of protein. Um, I got 12 cans of these mushrooms, stems and pieces. These are 55 cents a piece. Uh, I only got this because it caught my eye, and I love apricot preserves. This was, uh, I think, $1.99, maybe less. $1.79 for that, so we're going to go with that. This is their mild, chunky salsa, and I believe that this was $1.49. Yep, $1.49. So we go through salsa, like jars and jars of it every month, because Micah is a quesadilla freak, and she will eat one for lunch almost every day when she is home. So salsa, they go through a lot. I picked up this. This is a... Um, almost a two pound jar of deluxe mixed nuts and these are salted sometimes nuts are just yummy to snack on they're super healthy for you and that was $12.99 and I believe worth every penny because if you've priced out mixed nuts lately they're really really ridiculous we went ahead and got two of the coconut crunch bars these are amazing if you come across them in your Aldi shopping and you love coconut and white chocolate, I highly recommend you give these a try because they're really, really delicious. They have crushed up cornflakes inside and also coconut, so it kind of tastes like crunchy toasted coconut. It's really, really good. Um, these are $2.49 a piece, and we also picked up our standard raisin nut bar because he tastes like a good old-fashioned chunky. And um, you're welcome, Matt, because I got him hooked on those too. Mm -hmm. um, um, Micah loves the fudge mint cookies. These are $1.69 a package. You can have them any time of year, and Micah loves them. So that went in the cart. I got a wedge of pure Parmesan cheese. Oh, here, $3.79 for this wedge of, a, of Parmesan. That's not bad, and it's not going to be much cheaper anywhere else. So Oops. 
Uh, when we got to the check stand and we're emptying the cart, these went up on the conveyor belt and I'm like, well, how did those get in the cart? And what did you say, honey? They fell in the cart. They fell in the cart. Ladies, does this happen to you? Yeah. This is why when we take our husband shopping, which I always do, Rick always comes shopping with me. I meant to knock up, knock a knock worst and a brought worst in there. But oh no, knock worst is yucky. Yeah, I oh. I screwed up right there. You did. Um, my friend Tammy at the Holland Co. channel, if you don't know her, I'll post a link down below. I'll also post a link to Heather's channel. If you don't know her, you need to get to both of these channels because they're awesome. Um, these brioche buns, Tammy is always extolling the virtues of, and I had to give them a try. I believe these were um, $1.79 a piece. There's four buns in each one, and gorgeous. they are really pretty. So, yeah, we're going to give those a try. I also got a package of the burrito size tortillas. And those were $1.49, and I think, are there eight in there or something? Yep. And these, this was the first package of bread that caught my eye. I've yet to um, master ciabatta bread, so these looked beautiful. We picked those up, and the ciabatta bread was $2.49 for six buns, so that's not bad at all. The berries were incredibly cheap. The strawberries, $1.29 a package, and they're absolutely gorgeous. The blueberries, $1.49 a package, $1.99 a package, pardon me. Again, super beautiful. The Baby Bella mushrooms were $1.49 a package for a half pound. And do we love these any which way? We put mushrooms in so many things. So that is what we got from Aldi. And now we're gonna have Rick just pan across and start our Sam's Club haul. Down at this end, we picked up a box of instant oatmeal packets at my girl's request. They're home for summer break now, so there are probably a few things here that you're gonna see that we don't normally buy during the school year. All of these things are enjoyed and healthy to the best of our ability. You know, sometimes we want a treat. But we got the instant oatmeal. Huh? They're healthy. I know. I got a bag, it's a two pound bag of pecan halves. Um, let me see, I'll start giving you prices. Well, the pecan halves were $15.49. The oatmeal was $9.87. And then I got a bag of pistachios, they were around $12. And then these fig bars and the organic honey and oat bars, they're kind of like Nutri-Green bars and they're really good. My girls like both of them. The fig bars have a blueberry and raspberry selection and then the honey and oat bars come in apple, cinnamon, and strawberry. You all like all of them, right? I just realized the fig bars are a lot softer. Are they? Well, and then we got um, Micah requested the Nature Valley Sweet and Salty Peanut Bars. Um, these fig bars and the organic oatmeal bars, let's see. The fig bars were $7.88. Those were on special. And then... The oatmeal bars were $9.91. The sweet and salty Nature Valley bars were $12.98. I got a box of elbow macaroni. The elbow macaroni was five, around $5-ish. $5 and then the Cheerios, Micah loves Cheerios. That was a twin pack and it was $5.88. And then that flower that you see over there. Let me just tell you that when I looked at the price, I honestly, there was a very small display and I thought it was the, the gluten-free flour, but it was the unbleached white all-purpose organic flour from Bob's Red Mill. They're closing it out and it was $1.91 a bag for a five pound bag. So I got three bags. Don't really know why I didn't put four bags or even five bags in my cart, but I'm kind of kicking myself for that now. But you know, you've got to strike when the iron is hot when you see things like that. So, $1.91 for five pounds of organic white flour. I'm not joking, that is an amazing price. So now we're gonna come back to the table over here and I'll show you the rest of it. I told you this was a massive haul, but honestly, we didn't spend as much money as we have in the past for different things. Um, we did our paper plate deal. We got the 10 inch, the eight inch, and a package of bowls. The large plates were $15.68. The bowls were $5.68. 
and the smaller plates were, they were I think 11 something. Now I can't find them, but I also got a 10 pound bag of red potatoes. Did you guys see me make that potato salad? Because that stuff was really amazing and the red potato salad was really delicious. $5.94 for that 10 pound bag. And then I got a 10 pound bag of Adelia onions for $5.78. The uh, broccoli was also on special. I plan on doing a roasted crispy broccoli with that. $3.98 for that two pound bag of broccoli florets. And then I got the celery was $2.48. Um, we got what we call egg tomatoes. These are Roma tomatoes, $5.98. And the, the grape tomatoes behind it were $5.88. You can tell it's uh, super salad season. We love to eat salads, especially in the hotter weather. We always keep grilled meat in the refrigerator so we can just chop it up and make a really beautiful salad for dinner and fill it with all the delicious things that we love. We also got a package of the romaine hearts and those were $3.98. So they were $4. I got a big bag, four pound bag of Nestle's chocolate chips. They were $9. 98 got our staples we got ranch dressing it was 7.98 organic ketchup was 7.48 sweet baby rays was 5.88 and we got some ibuprofen which was 10.86 i got a package of sour cream the sour cream was four dollars and 68 cents and then um you see this thing this is one of uh, our hey it fell in the cart we debated we literally stood there as a family debating should we get it should we not get it? The girls and I are like, do you think we'll eat it? Do you want it? And then Rick just picked it up and put it in the dang cart. Because he got tired of listening about having us debate about whether or not we should get it. Actually, y'all walked away and I put it in the cart. So he just put it in the cart. And he made a unilateral decision without, without even asking us. So it's okay. I went ahead and I got some meat. I need to restock my freezer. I got some ground beef. This was um, $2.78 a pound, and it is almost six pounds, $15.68. And I got two packages of chicken breast. Heather says this chicken breast is really, really good. I need to get some chicken breast in my freezer because we eat a ton of it in the summertime. $1.98 a pound, really, really great price. Um, $12.91 for this one, and $13.48 for that one. And then we got the orange chicken, one more time, the Trader Joe's orange chicken is outstanding and stellar and I can't say enough about it. This stuff is really, really good. If you don't have a Trader Joe's near you, I highly recommend that you give this Sam's Club orange chicken a try. I will say, this comes with what it's calling two packs of chicken, two packs of fried rice, and two packs of orange sauce. This is one meal for my family and it's about $13. And that's not terrible. It's twelve forty-eight. So um, when you break it down, it's twelve fifty between four people. It's about three seventy-five a serving. Um, that's not bad for a whole meal. I don't have to do anything else except we we do heat up some uh, frozen broccoli. That's what we cook with that, and we may go ahead and do crispy broccoli when we make this the next time. So that is a heck of a haul. I'm telling you what. And I, we didn't spend that much time in the store and we got what we needed. I went prepared and I had a list and that's something you should all do because buying things in impulse world will really cost you a lot of money. And go eat before you go. And we always we always go have lunch together as a family. It's once a month we do that, we consider it a treat. And then we go do our shopping. So that is our haul for this month. If you have any questions about anything you've seen here, please leave them in the comment section below and I will do my best to answer those questions to the best of my ability. And I hope that you enjoyed this month's haul. There will be another one probably next month. I don't know. I thank you for joining me today. If you enjoyed the video, please consider giving me a thumbs up. If you love hauls, be sure and hit that like button and be sure and hit that subscribe button. If you're visiting here for the first time, welcome. I hope you enjoyed what you saw and I hope that you'll stick around and I hope that you'll become a subscriber. And if you are already a subscriber, I thank you very much because we love you and we enjoy seeing you here and meeting you and we love the community that we have formed here. 
and we would like you to make sure that you hit the notification bell button so that you don't miss out on all the real food for real people, real easy recipes, and grocery hauls, and life things, and all the fun stuff that we share right here on our YouTube channel and straight from our kitchen. I hope that you enjoyed our haul today, and until next time, I'll see ya!